Hi, I'm John LaRue, author of Wave Goodbye, Simple Tsunami Mitigation. As you know, my book is about mitigating tsunamis and storm surges with air released into the water ahead of the wave. Today I'm going to talk about a simple experiment you can do at home using a spray bottle, some club soda, and a mailing scale to prove the efficacy of this approach. You really don't even need the mailing scale. I first filled this spray bottle with flat water to see how much water is expelled per trigger pull. It turned out to be 88% of a gram. I then did the same thing with club soda and found each trigger pull expelled 56% of a gram. For the most part, water isn't moving in a wave. It's just energy traveling toward a shore. One gram of carbon dioxide is contained in 162 grams of club soda. Therefore, one gram of gas will mitigate one-third of the energy in 162 grams of water, or 54 grams of energy. This energy of the wave is lost at its leading edge. The gas doesn't disappear, though. If the wave is 10 meters wide, it will mitigate the energy 1,000 times more. In short, you can neutralize all of the energy required to throw 1 billion liters of water up onto land with less than 18,000 kilograms of gas. This example used CO2, but it would work just as well with air. If you have an idea of why water would react differently in a wave than in a spray bottle, or if perhaps you agree with me and are just better at putting together videos than I am, I'd appreciate a letter. I can be reached at tsunamiwavestopper at gmail.com. Perhaps this idea will take hold and we can make things that happened in Biloxi, Mississippi a thing of the past. Have a great day and stop those waves.